back to the beach. But yeah, I haven't really uh, uh, seen or talked to you since the whole academy thing. Oh my god, did you did you know I shot someone? No. Oh, Wh girl. when did you shoot somebody? Hello? Wh the, okay. When did you shoot someone? Oh my god, you have been gone. Yeah, I, I've not even been informed. What's going on? Like, what happened? Long story short, you know Dundee? Yes, I do. Bonbon. Bon. Yes, I do. Are you still working with Bonbon, bon, by the way? No, I've... No, I, I remember the last day I, you know, we spoke about Bonbon, bon, I said I was only using him to get back at Trotterbox because Trotterbox kept harassing me mm -hmm. and I just wanted to get closer, mm -hmm. but since then I haven't spoken to him. Yeah, no, I haven't <laughs> spoken to him the day... The day I told you that he wanted to set up that meeting and I said he should just speak to you about it, that's the last time I spoke to him. Uh, speaking of Chatterbox... What about him? Uh, he's... He's my guy friend. Yeah, I know he... I know you're friends with him. You've... No, he, he's... He's more than that. What do you mean? He's more than it? He's like... A guy that's a friend, you know? He's a... Uh, he's... He's, he's, what do you mean? He's a boy. <laughs> he's a boy that's a friend. A very close oh. friend. He's a boy. Oh. oh, okay. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm happy you guys are close friends now. He's not hurting you, is he? No, it is. It's, okay. It's more than that. All it's right. A, it's like... More... Than that. <clears throat> I'm also... Wait. I'm also a queen of the clouds! I beg you, fight his pot. Uh, I'm, I'm queen of the clouds. You're queen of the fucking clown house. Oh god, there's so much to update you on. Okay, long story short. Okay. Oh god. Uh, okay. Where do I even begin? Let's start with the uh, university. So. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, oh, a second. Because I haven't spoken to you since, uh... I think that day you guys had inside of the liquid library. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> um... <sighs> okay, sorry. I just got a message and it was just so appalling. Okay, anyways, um... Yes, okay, long story short. University. Uh, Dundee. Bonbon bon left the clowns because of me. Well, not fully because of me, but uh, a situation involving me. And then I tried to, uh, I lied to him. He gave me information that I snitched to the other clowns I actually care about. And then uh, uh, I ended up shooting him. And then uh, he joined a new game, a BBMC, led by Dundee. Dundee and I are both contracted to the company. And so we've been cordial for a while. But then he was a professor at the university. And then he, uh, had a workshop day, and then, uh, I've never seen Bonbon bon unmasked. His real name is Bobby Beldrum, and he was there as a mechanic, spying on me, snooping on me. I said he was hot. I shouldn't have, but I did, because I didn't know it was him. And then, oh. he stalked oh. me after class, stabbed me, threw me down the stairs. And then, two days later, it was the last day of university, it was prom, and then, uh, I went with Dundee, as Dundee to be my date because I wanted to get more information on Bun Bun and also like if his gang was going to be involved with our shenanigans, even though it's more than shenanigans. And Dundee pretty much told me, yeah, of course, he's going to protect his boys. And then he jumped over the wall and then he jumped back over the wall. And then I got uh, really confused because he was talking without his mouth moving. And I was like, why are you talking with your mouth moving? And he said, surprise, he stabbed me. And it was Bobby Beldrum dressed up as Dundee. And so, both these events happened on school campus, ran by the company. Well, ran by Mickey Sinclair, but funded by the company. And so, they set up a meeting for me to talk to them about it. Because, you know, he betrayed Mickey's trust and also, you know, it was a company thing. And then, uh, I brought a gun and I went blah blah, shot him. Both of them. Dundee and Bonbon. Bon. Then, later on, I've been hiding out at the Funhouse for a few days. And then, uh, you know, I... I got really extra, got extra close to the, the clowns and, and the really, really close. And then, um, and then I got a call from Dundee. Dundee said that I don't have anything to worry about because of the company and stuff. We're going to stay cordial. It's better to be mutuals than to be, you know, have another war. And I was like, okay, so Bonbon, bon, you know, we've been cordial. Yeah. And then, um, 
Chatty and I, we got super, super close. And then, um... He, uh, we had a, a clown meeting. Uh, oh, wait, there's more! <laughs> um, CG and the clowns got in a shootout, uh, which resulted in Twinkles and... and uh, uh, Chatty going into ICU! <laughs> they were both in ICU at the same time! Oh. Uh. Yeah, and then I realized, like, I, I need him. Like, he's very important to me. Mm -hmm. And then he woke up from ICU and everything changed! And, um, I, and then, um, he, he be, wanted to be the leader again, so he became leader of the clowns, and he's turned into a mafia gang. And, uh, he's like, you know, gonna, um, we're on the funhouse and stuff, and then... Uh, so, yeah, he's like King Chatty right now, and, and then he, uh... And then he made me uh, the queen! <laughs> and he gave me a key to the funhouse, so I... I... <laughs> I've been staying there, and... Oh, we had a clown meeting, and in front of all the clowns, he grabbed my hand! <laughs> uh, oh. in front of anyone, and so he... Yeah, I'm a queen of the clowns, and... I, I, he's kind of my boy for it. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Boy for yeah, it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Guy. My guy friend. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> I've got so, guy yeah. friend. And now, that's where we are. That's where we landed. Oh, Woo! my fucking god. You have literally... ...been all over the place. Where have you been? Bon Bon stabbed you? Twice. Uh... But when was yeah. this? I just told you, bitch! Were you not listening? No, I know, I, I know, said it was like, on school what? campus twice! I... You, you were in the ICU? I wasn't... I didn't know any of this. No one told me shit. Wait, I... Was I in ICU these two times? Oh, I think I was in I... Why did I go to ICU? Oh, it's been so long, I actually don't really quite remember. I didn't... Did anyone else know about it? Yeah! No! I went to ICU a different time. Oh, okay. Yes, it's when Ember stabbed me. Oh. I bled out. I fell unconscious. What? That was a... Uh... Were you not there for that? No, that was when... No. That was when... You tried to visit me, remember? Yeah, yeah, April yeah, was yeah, around. yeah. No, mm -hmm. Chatty and Twinkles went to ICU this time oh, around. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You've been gone for a while. Fuck, I'm, I'm so, so yeah. sorry you went through all that. Um, Jesus Christ, I would've known I would've no. been there. No, 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 everything I got, is... Yeah. I, I think this is the happiest I've ever been. I feel like I'm, I'm finding really? myself. I, yeah, it's actually something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Um... About how I was, I was kind of hard on you and some of the other roommates about having like you know multiple places to live and stuff. And then I, I kind of get it now. I'm a, uh, you know, oh, you I get it now. Have... We keep trying to tell you that for months. But in due fairness, I kind of understand where I'm you were. Biting my tongue. I'm biting my tongue. What? 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 Biting my what? No, say All it. Right. Say it. You're allowed to say whatever you want to me. You're a sassy bitch. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, I haven't heard some... compliment. Oh. But it, I do like that about you. Uh, thank, thank you. It is a compliment I, now. Oh, oh. I guess it's... A, it, depending on my mood, it could either be an insult or a compliment. It kind of depends but which, on my Which one is it? Which Am I supposed to say thank you or well, not? It was originally Am I supposed, supposed to be, be offended? Insult. You were supposed to be offended, but like, I miss you so much, so like... You know what? It's hey, a pick one. Is, am I supposed to be fucking offended? Or am I supposed half to hug you? I don't know. Is that supposed to be half like... Half, 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 half. Okay, well, you're sassy too. Half How about that? I mean, you're sassy too, bitch. How about that too? You can be a little sassy too. A little salt, it's... a little sugar, and a little sour, and a little spicy. You're all of the seasonings. Yeah. Sorry, there's a depth to me. I, I think I like the death to you. I don't want to change it, obviously. So it makes you a bland. I wouldn't I like, change you, know, you either, on... except for a couple things. A couple. Excuse me. Okay, listen. The whole kitty situation. I'm gonna have to need. I I need full details on that. Okay, because like, um, I was really pissed from what I heard about Kitty. It, it just, she was really hurt by SK, bruh. And it, this is like, I warned you about this. I warned you about this gang shit. Okay. 
Okay, like, let me let me let me explain that entire situation. Now, keep in mind, mm -hmm. this is exactly I wasn't here for most. I only found like a lot of information until way after, and I wasn't even here between in the middle of it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, and keep in mind, if I may be paraphrasing, because you know, I think the person you would really get this it would probably be SK. So, the, here's the thing of what happened. So basically, long story short, was we needed a place. We needed a clean person. Um, our clean mm -hmm. person that we originally picked. Would, couldn't get through the train, I guess. So they wasn't going to be around, but we were like, like rushing to figure out a, a, a quick, a temporary clean person just to hold off for at least like a day or a span of a few hours, right? So SK calls me, he's like, hey, you know, we, we need uh, a clean person because we need to move, you know, like some things that doesn't need to like maybe be here. So we just need a, a clean person just to hold it off kind of thing. We, we need uh, like maybe like a location of a, a new place, right? So he was like, do you have anyone that you could recommend? I was like, let me just see. I I don't know, but let me just ask. So it was between Max and Kitty, right? I called, um, Kitty was fussed. And then she was like, let me call you back kind of thing. And then I called, um, no, no, no. I called Kitty first. I was like, hey, Kitty, um, um, I just need a, a, me and the boys just need a temporary favor. Um, if you can like hold, like if we can have like, cause we need a clean person and just have it in your name for the span, like just a few hours at most. She was like, oh, so you just don't need it in my name, like. Like, I'm just not going to be the owner of it. Kind of like, no, no, no. You, you, we're going to switch owners until the person comes around. It's just you just hold it for at least like a day or just a few hours. She was like, all right, yeah, I could do that. I was like, all right, cool. So then right after I got off the phone with her. No, no, no. I, then I also said called S. Um, I'll have SK or you call SK. And he could pretty much go into um, elaborate of everything moving forward with the whole house thing. She's like, okay, cool. So then after I, I got off the phone with her, I called Max just in case, in case if she really didn't want to, then I could just ask Max kind of things like, hey, can you do so? So he was like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of doing moonshine right now. So um, in case if anything goes south, like I don't want to be the person to be, you know, not clean anymore, get caught kind of thing. I was like, that's totally understandable, you know, fair enough. So he said no. So moving forward, um, so Kitty ends up being the person um, for the, the, the clean person for the house, right? So we, I guess SK and, I think it was SK and Ha went to do the whole transaction thing up, up north, up north. So I guess apparently like HOA uh, ends up living out there or uh, the case may be being in Polito. So I guess from what I was told, because I wasn't there, I only found until after, so I wasn't there. So what I've ha what I found out was we needed the house, SK ended up lying to Kitty um, to get the house because she felt like, oh, HOA is out here. I have a good relationship with these people. I don't want to feel like I'm stepping on any toes. Like, I don't want to be involved in getting stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, listen, I, I understand that. But he's no, she said, can you please call Julio and have like, because I guess Julio is like the leader of HOA. So can you mm -hmm. please tell Julio um, that if it's like, just give the like approval, like it's okay kind of thing. So I guess SK ended up lying of getting the approval kind of thing. He maybe... Oh. Had, Maybe he either. called in front of her, a fake call, phone call in front of Kitty, pretending like he was on the phone with them and mm -hmm. pretended like he got approval. Like, is that not mm -hmm. fucked up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I think SK knows that, right? So he ended up lying to her, which, uh, and then he goes back to Kitty and was just like, hey, that uh, Julia said was okay, so um, it, it's fine and it's just passable. She's like, um, are you sure? Like, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, all right, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go, I'll go with it, the whole thing, right? So right after that, I think um, ends up getting the house kind of thing. And after this, Kitty's end up telling everybody. She told the entire city where the location of the house was. She told majority of her friends and everyone started to pull up at the house kind of thing. And right after, that's when our clean person came around and woke up. So when the, per the clean person woke up... Uh, we all went down to down in up or up north kind of thing and transfer the house to uh, the clean person. So it was long, long. It was no longer in Kitty's name. And then I guess Kitty only found out until uh, before you know we transferred over that like oh um, she I guess she ended up calling Julio and Julio ended up telling her kind of the whole thing. And that's when she called SK. It's like oh um, did you why did you end up lying to me kind of thing da 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 because I thought. This and I thought that kind of thing. And what SK was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to Julio and talk to him about it because since he's uh, uh, HOA and leave the middle person out of it. And she was like, all right, fine. So she, he ended up getting off the phone with her and then talking to Julio, which was the lead of HOA. And he pretty much was telling us, like, hey, um, you know, I don't appreciate, you know, 
you uh us you, you guys buying a house and not, not speaking to me about it kind of thing so 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 i don't know in that entire conversation between sk and julio but what sk told me from what julio said is keep in mind i didn't know that he ended up lying to kitty i wasn't there i wasn't there for a majority of this until after um so it ended up being like they had a conversation and so when i came back um i get informed that oh um kitty ended up telling everywhere the place was telling everybody and then kitty gave up Gigi's name she didn't say she gave up my name she said it was giovanni carcel i'm pretty sure is their clean person which i don't know why she would tell hoa of why i would be their clean person because keep in mind if there was an issue going if, if there was going to be an issue it wouldn't have fallen back on kitty it would have fallen back on sk in the manor right right so when SK told me that he had lying to her, I was like, I probably shouldn't have done that. He was like, it is what it is. Like, I, I had to do it because we needed it. Like, we truly needed it. If we didn't, our place could possibly, you know, get raided or something of the stuff we needed to fucking move. So I had to do what I had to do. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I understand how Kitty feels. Like, she feels, like, slight a little bit of being lied to. And I understand that. And I totally am not gonna knock her for not feeling upset with that. So after that, um, he ends up telling me that she told Julio the entire thing and end up giving my name up and then kitty went about it and text and then i guess when she found out the whole which i don't know why she didn't text me after she which she found out she was being lied to um she texted me a few hours later it's like hey did you know that sk was gonna lie to me and um in the text message she said oh um and why didn't you just be their clean person even though you are talking like you don't have felonies and kind of thing i was like why is she texting me something so incriminating i don't understand that because what i got informed of what kitty did i was already a little bit upset but i didn't want to talk to kitty with an upset mindset or like being mad like i don't like doing that to people like if i'm upset i want to take the time to come like calm down because me and kitty didn't know like a lot of stuff with each other right until the next day until we actually spoke to one another so she texted me um, before i went to bed about something about uh like incriminated shit that she probably shouldn't have texted me so i was already like livid and upset about that i was like i'm not gonna even respond because i don't want to say if shit goes south the cops search my phone and they see that and they can just investigate and link it back to that whole operation up north so this whole thing the next day me and kitty spoke um we spoke at the park and um she ends up telling um well, she ends up asking me like hey did you know sk was going to lie to me kind of thing so and so and i said no um me and the boys didn't you know anything about that um that was only until after like i wasn't there the only thing i was present for is when way after we transferred to the the clean purses when i showed up i didn't know anything about that she was like oh, okay because and then i asked i was like did you give up my name so Julio and the rest of HOA tell them and tell them that I was their clean person. Gave she was like, no, I didn't say G. I said Giovanni Carcello. Didn't even say G. She gave my full government name uh, to the, the whole HOA and told them that. And then she and she was like, yeah, I didn't mean to text you something so incriminating. I just upset because I thought you knew about it, and so that's why I text you that. Which I'm um, gonna be honest, it was kind of like my fault. I probably shouldn't have done that, and I probably shouldn't have you know told everyone. But to be clear, you guys, uh, SK didn't tell me that. And, and from how he explained it, that it wasn't a low-key kind of thing. Like, I was just telling people, like, I'm just a house owner kind of thing. And here's the thing. I only assumed to ask Kitty because I don't know Kitty's history from way before. I just know bits and pieces of what she's told me about being involved of, like, you know, keeping everything, like, a little under wraps. If, like, her, like her and her husband kind of thing have done, like, not criminal shit, but, like, she keeps everything, like, in the DL. So uh, we only thought that, obviously, like, Kitty would not say anything, right? But she ended up telling everybody where the house was, so people started to show up at it. So, like, um, me and her spoke, and it was, like, a shitty whole situation on both ends. And we talked about it for a good while, and I understood where she was coming from, and she understood where I was coming from. And then we hugged it out, and we just left it for what it was. So, and then since then, like, we, I've just... I've seen her, like I spoke to her a few days ago when when Star, when the, the cars got restocked. We seemed to pretty pretty cool for the most part. And since then, I haven't seen her, so. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh. God. Uh, it sounds like a lot of miscommunication. I don't think yeah. she was intentionally trying to incriminate you, and I don't think that she was intentionally trying to, like, get you guys caught or something. Um, I think uh, uh, you guys are okay though now, right? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, and that's we... and that's all that matters. If 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 you well, guys are Are we, are cool. are we not okay? Well, I heard about this yesterday, so I don't really know if you know like how it's gone that since is. Um I do think that SK needs to like not fuck with your roommates like that though. Like blatantly lying right in front of her like that is kind of insane when she's doing you guys a favor. You know what I mean? Like, I think you were innocent in the situation, and I get it. You're defending your boys, blah, blah, blah. But, like, what he did was so fucked up when she was trying to help out. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you told him that, right? Yeah, he, like, SK even knows, like, yeah, he even said, like, yeah, me lying to Kitty was kind of the wrong thing. How should, should I have lied to her? Absolutely not. But at the time, I needed because it was die at the situation. But he, he even knows, like, he, he, like, feels up type of way about it. And he understands why Kitty feels upset about it, which she should yeah i mean so, and and i and i told kitty i was like moving forward on both ends that way there's no like kind of thing i just we won't ask her for favors like that in the future that way kitty's not put in a position to uh feel like she, she's in a position that way my boys don't feel like you know now that now they because before then they was like you know because sk said to me that they he's had a history with kitty even before then, like, she's cool people. So that's why, the, um, for me, they trusted my source, like, Kitty, to be the clean person just for a few hours kind of thing. That's why they was like, you know, yeah, Kitty would be, like, a good person. We, like, we like Kitty. And then the whole thing kind of conspired, and then now both sides are kind of just like, mm, maybe just not in the future. We're just not going to cross paths of asking for each other's favors anymore, which, understandable, makes sense. Yeah. Did he apologize to her? No. I don't know if he did or not. Um, what? I don't know if he did or not. I don't know. Is I know that, that not did, like... like a red flag, bro? I mean, at yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I don't think he should have lied to her. But at the same time, I kind of like I don't, I like I don't know. Like at the same time, I understand like he was doing it for the boys. Of obviously, we needed it. Um, bro, but yeah, come I think on. I do think no, I do think he should have that's on his tums. I can't tell him to apologize if he doesn't want to. If he's not truly soft for it, I can't tell him to do that. Should he owe her apology? Sure, absolutely. Oh, it makes me sad. I just I just Yeah, I think moving forward definitely don't involve anyone or ask anyone from our oh. house because it's like Yeah, it's just it was it's entirely just extra complicated. Um, it's just, right. I mean, I get like you're, you know, it's, those are your boys. It's your gang. I understand that. I know what it's like to be part of the gang. And like you do, you do like that's the priority. Like I get it. Mm -hmm. But I still think he put you in a horrible situation. And I think it probably affected yours and Kitty's relationship. I'll be honest. It, it probably has been maybe something I haven't noticed. Like, cause when we spoke and we literally hugged it out, like, we seemed it fine. Um, even the next day, yeah. we seemed it fine. But I, like I said, I haven't spoken to Kitty or seen Kitty since uh, we. Uh, well, that's what, what I mean. Saturday. Like it's, it's probably like swept under the rug, but there's probably going to be like an elephant in the room, you know? And like, I mean, I don't know. I'm just making well, assumptions. I, fine. Here's the thing, and that's fine. But here's the thing: if if there was an elephant in the room, I'm I'm more than welcome to speak about it, kind of thing. Like, yeah. If Kitty still I, feels I think... so much, she is more than welcome to tell me, like, hey, I'm still not okay with feeling some type of way about it. Like, this truly does bother me, and I'm here to listen. If she still feels some type of way, I'm not gonna sh like push her away or shove her aside. Yeah. I think it's more so thing. like, because if I was in Kitty's shoes, I would have a hard time trusting you moving forward if i was in her shoes like, no I, I get what you're saying yeah but the, yeah. here's the thing you know it's like sorry go ahead no no go ahead what were you gonna say i actually forgot <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> no it, it's just the thing like i understand like i personally feel like yeah like i did ask her for a favor and i think we both fucked up on each other's side in a sense like she feels some type of how sk lied to her which honestly makes sense for her anger to be towards him but i feel like personally i asked her for the favor but i didn't personally even know about like him lying like i didn't know that so i didn't wasn't intentionally trying to hurt kitty or put her in a position to be hurt or feel like betrayed or anything yeah, no, I, I understand that i like, think i would never so do something how, like that i know but i think it was more so what happened after because she did mention mm -hmm. that you guys fought about how she told people and i think it's like you just being mad at her after she felt betrayed in that way that uh, probably you know, like hurt her you know because she felt like she was a victim in this situation it was 
Mm -hmm. You know? And so I, I think... You know, you not having her back fully probably, like, affected her. But that's just... From me, from an outsider perspective. I don't know. You guys might be fine. I don't know. But if, if I was in her shoes, I mean, that's how I would feel. Like, yeah. Then I... I don't mind talking to her either. Like, if there's still an issue, yeah. then we, I'm, I'm more than open to talk. Like, I'm, I'm open. Like, I, I would talk to people. Like, just like, like, I mean, we live together. So maybe, you know, ask and double check if things are okay. And if she says, yeah, yeah but, then it's okay. Has she said anything to you? Like, no, she pretty much I mean, like, she just like caught me up to speed yesterday. And honestly, mm -hmm. this is, it's SK's fault. Like, this is all his fault. I'm mm -hmm. shocked he didn't apologize. That baffles me. Actually makes me sick, I'm not gonna lie, that he didn't apologize. Like, that's the least you can do. Right? Like, he's fucking with his gang member's friends. That's true. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, that's I can... That's the least you can do. Well, here's the thing. I, I totally get that. Because I've, I've been in a situation... Because I'm gonna just not... I'm gonna just speak from my experience that I've had people do stuff to me that I've never got an apology for. And yeah, and it feels when bad, right? Well, yeah, I remember when Chatterbox would kept harassing me. He's never said sorry to me. Like, I told him, leave me alone, and he kept fucking harassing me. I never got an apology for that. Because I you wasn't the one... apology? No, because I don't want a person to apologize. They don't necessarily mean... Why Why would I... That's just a waste of an apology. It's just a waste of air. If you don't, if you don't, if you're not sorry for it, then don't say sorry to me. You know what I mean? I just rather, like, if you feel some type of way towards me, and if you don't like me, if you if you... You know, Phil, if you have this whole, you know, narrative about me, then that's fine. But don't apologize if you don't mean it. I don't want it. It's just like a, like a, it's just like a waste of air kind of thing, in my personal opinion. Like, if you're not truly sorry about doing stuff to, to someone that obviously hurts their feelings, then why say sorry in the first place? It's not genuine. I mean, you said that SK knows he did it bad and he felt bad for it, so he about me. I'm not that. talking about him. I'm talking about me. But in, in SK situation, if he wants to apply, absolutely he should. But if he doesn't want to, like, then you know that's on him. Yeah, it's on him. Uh, yeah, I get it. That's it. That's a crazy situation. I can't believe that happened. I, I couldn't believe it was real when she told me. It was insane. Yeah. And then after that, the next day, um, I was involved in something and um, I ended up, obviously, we thought it was going to go way differently and I ended up going to prison. And then... Yeah, and I he, heard you got a felony. And it, like, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then I got, yeah, I got a felony and then I went to prison. And then I did my time, and then when I came out, I went to go, because my shit was seized, um, because we did, like, a laundry mat kind of thing. Um, I went to MRPD to get my stuff back, and I didn't get anything back, so I lost everything. Um, I lost my phone, I lost all my keys, I don't have the key to the, the girl house anymore. Um, I lost my keys, lost my ID, lost all my contact information, lost a couple of notebooks, I lost everything. Um, so that was just, it was just not only losing anything that really ticked me off, it was... Obviously, the situation that happened with the whole house and kitty thing was still on my mind. And then getting the film, it was all wrapped up to one. So I just, it was a really shit few days um, as a whole. Um, and then since then, I've just, just been trying to find my ground of what to do now. And I'm not doing G6 anymore. And I may do even possibly the weed uh, stuff that I've never done before. So um, a few people are going to teach me how to do the whole weed runs kind of thing, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. I really don't like really like it. weed, but um, you do it too? Yeah, that's what I'm into right now. I'm, I'm trying to get my rep up, do the whole turf stuff. Um, mm -hmm. are you like, you're okay with me being super close to chatty and stuff? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine. I mean, if he makes you happy, okay. then by all means, do, uh, do what you got. I'm only, here's the thing. Whatever you want to do, as long as you're happy, then I don't... There's no complaints from me. As long as you're not getting hurt, there's something that make you upset, then what's the harm in it? And do you also want to get your house key or like, are you going to live with the boys for all time? Hmm. 
Did you see the question? The, the message from Max about more people possibly moving in? Yeah, um... I did, and then from what you told me was it was going to just be more than L and Lottie? Yeah, apparently it's going to be January, September, Hazel, and L, and possibly even Lottie because there was a whole situation where Lottie just mm -hmm. bought a new house, asked Yuno and L to move in with her and like do like they had a plan like a to use mm -hmm. the house for something, but mm -hmm. it fell through and L said yes to moving in with us. I mean, it's not it's not official. We're still in talks and stuff, but like. So Lottie feels left out, and I feel bad because now she has this whole house that is super useful. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking during the meeting, I think of splitting the people. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like maybe the people that are doing like crime stuff, like we could hold all our stuff at Lottie's place. The civs can like live at the, the other house. I don't know. Um, Wait, you mean like put all the illegal stuff at Lottie's house? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just, I feel bad for Lottie because I feel like she feels left think, out. Yeah. I know it's like not I, I think like, that's kind of... I don't, I don't think that should be the thing though. Like, if that's she not was... a reason to have someone to move in. I understand that. Yeah. But yeah. like, uh, man, it, it like broke my heart. Like, if I was in her shoes, I, I would... Like, I would feel so bad. Like, knowing that my friend said no to me, but yes to someone else to move in. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I told her that she needs to yeah. talk to Elle. Uh, has she or she still hasn't? She has. I don't know. Uh, we talked about it today, so I'm not sure if she has or not. But it's so there's potentially people moving in. But um, yeah, I mean, like, I get now why everyone has like multiple keys to multiple places. I understand mm -hmm. now what it's like to like kind of find your people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Yeah, I, I mean, it. I be I'll be honest with you, right? It's like. I feel like with them, um, before when I was with the Italians, and I, I think I've said this to you a few times, that I truly didn't feel seen, I didn't feel heard, I didn't feel like I was important enough. I didn't feel like Where? what I said mattered with the Italians. Oh, yeah. And then I ended up finding people that didn't allow me to hide away anymore. They didn't, they accepted me and all like my flaws and made it seem like my flaws were my best qualities about myself. And it felt so... It felt like... I felt like accepted. I felt welcomed that I didn't really have to shy away from that anymore. And they are like also like, you know, like, like my family. And I... I don't think I could have been or ended up somewhere where I didn't have to shame away from that anymore. I think that's the big thing for me when I meet people or a group is feeling like, are they going to like me? Is a person going to accept me for all of me? Or am I going to just have to shy away from things? Because you want to know now, now that I've been with the Mana, and when I ran into my cousin Luciano, who was like the leader of the Italians, he, he tells me now every time I see him, I'm so proud of you, Gigi. You, you know, what, what you've accomplished, where you ended up, because you're doing so well for yourself. And those words sometimes mean so much to me of someone saying they're proud of me. Because I, for the longest time, I feel like no matter what I did was just a failure. And it was never good enough. So now I, I feel like I, I'm in a really good space where... I don't know if I want to be anywhere else but here. And... Which is... This is probably really hard to explain, which is why I brought something to you. That I've been meaning to give you for so long, and... I just haven't. And keep in mind, it's weeks old. And I haven't wrote since, but, um... You read this when I'm not here. Because I don't want to hear about it, because I, I read it constantly, and I just... Ends up at ego. Okay. Read it later. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I entirely understand how you feel. Mm -hmm. Entirely. I feel like we're the same in that aspect where we felt like we just weren't good enough, or felt like we were just alone in that sense. I I get it. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I feel... I'm happy for you. I feel like it's very good. I think you should stay with your people. Um, what do you think will happen moving forward? He's like, you've been having fun with the clowns, yeah? Yeah, I'm a fucking clown, Gigi. I'm a fucking clown now. Queen. Queen clown. I'm a queen clown. Mm -hmm. Do they call you by your name or do they call you hiccups? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I go by hiccups. Um, but I, I, I kind of like cups for short. It's super cute. Cups? So, that's cups. cute. That's a cute little, little nickname. Yeah, don't ever use it. Thank you. I'm, I, I, I'm, I would never call you oh, that. Oh, thank but you so much. Yeah, yeah you can call me Ray. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'll prefer that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or gorgeous. Oh, I love that too. That's really nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, what were you saying again? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I forgot. Call caught me off guard. I fucking I forgot. Was, uh, I don't, I don't remember what we were saying. Oh, um, well, since I'm a felony now, like, like, like I said, if you ever want to go do roof runnings or maybe even sell together, you just let me know. Well, we could do something like that or whatever. Um, let me know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I'm, I'm happy you found them. Yeah, you them. gave me your book. So I, I'll be, I'll be reading it, um, later. I'll read it later and, uh... Okay. Um... Fuck, we were talking about good things and I totally forgot. I, I, yeah, I don't know what the fuck we were saying, honestly. I'll be honest. Um... Oh, yeah, I was just, like, relating to you about the whole, like, you know, finding your people and I, I'm happy for you. Oh! Like, honestly, yeah, yeah. I am. Um, just, oh, yeah, moving forward, like, do you, uh... With, like, the conflict that's happened with our friends, yeah. like, do you think it's best if you stay there? I think for right now, no. And I'm okay, um... Of not having a key right now. If... It just makes me feel that if... There may be some... Tension there... I'd rather not. Yeah. Well, I mean... I don't know if there's tension. Kitty just told me about this yesterday. So... Maybe things are better now. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. I just worry but, because I just feel like this is like this is another situation that your gang has come after, like you know your roommates. <laughs> I wouldn't think. Okay, don't don't make it sound come after. Not on purpose, but a kitty thing was kind of a crazy thing, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think it was from from both sides, and the whole thing was just entire fuck situation. And... Yeah, it was a super fuck situation. So. But, but, but now I don't want I, to. I, uh... Okay. Like, I want, like, I want you to know, like, I... I still consider you one of my best friends. Wait, really? Even though, you know, we've... We're kind of... It does kind of feel like we're on very different paths right now. Um... You want to know what's crazy, right? I feel like... We... Like you just say, we're kind of similar in certain things. But I think for you and I... Where I feel like sometimes we bump heads of trying to get to know one another, that we turn to people that we kind of express it to in a very different way that they kind of understood that we didn't really do with each other. Do you get what I mean? No. Oh. <laughs> what? In, in, in a sense that, you know, maybe I was trying to express to you uh, how I am, and then you were trying to express to me how you are, and then we, we just weren't really seeing eye to eye, right? And then we return to other people to express, you know, exactly how you are. And they kind of understood and got it kind of thing. Does that make sense? Um... Never mind. I mean... <laughs> uh... Yeah! I just, no, but I just, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that maybe... Uh, okay, I'll just speak for myself that maybe I... I tried, or at least said that I accepted for who you are, right? But I didn't necessarily show that. But maybe you were to somebody else that showed all of that, but I didn't get really get to see. But, see, oh, but now oh, you're I in a see. situation. Yeah, I yeah, feel that's, like that's it's what I mean. I honestly, I feel like we're probably more alike than we think, and we, you know, we felt lost and we, that we got found. But like we kind of, yes. I'm not gonna lie, I, I feel like I didn't really, when we first met, I didn't really act like myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I pretended to be someone I wasn't, and then it took a time, but I think I'm figuring out, you know, who I really am. And Have it, you found it yet? It took... 
yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. I feel like I'm making progress and I think a lot of it has been just getting through trauma of like losing people and stuff, but I, I, you know, I'm a fucking clown. I'm a CG clown girl. Celibate gang. You know what I mean? A lot of C's in there. Yeah. CG three time. <laughs> so, but I feel like you also found your people and I, like, I get that. Like, I know, I know what it's like. I think I... I got a little possessive over you and some of the other roommates for a while because I was so afraid of being alone, but like in reality I was never alone. No. No you weren't, but you weren't either. But maybe we're just a little delulu, you know? And sure, you're a little codependent on oh, SK, oh, but oh. <laughs> it's okay, girl, we're all flawed. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's so different. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure yeah, it's hella fucking else. different. Of course it's it is. So right, it's different. so different. It's so, such, you know, you a, a dying piece and peas and, you know, he's, he's dead and done, never done, done no wrong. No, he whatsoever. does wrong. He does the most wrong. He's in prison right now, actually. Oh, oh is he? Yeah, but is he's, he? he's yucking around. This is so different. It's so different, okay? He's, he's, uh, you know... You know what they have in common? They're both men, what? okay? And it... That, that's true. You got, you got a point <laughs> that's there. already a flaw. You, 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 got, <laughs> you know, you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right, you know what I mean? Yeah. But okay. listen... It's, it's I, different. The, despite how I fucking feel about fucking Chatterbox... It doesn't... Change the fact that it, as long as he makes you happy, then... My approval, you know? Because, like you said, you found your people, and I'm happy about that. And that's all that matters. He may see... But if he hurts you, like Bon, bon did... No, he... He... He is probably... I don't think I've ever been this close to somebody before. Really? Yeah. He, uh... Aww. He opened up to me in ways that... Um... I don't think he's ever opened up to anyone before, and I trust him with my life. It's kind of how I feel the same with SK. Yeah. I understand. So are you guys gonna, like, date yet, or, like, <laughs> he's still trying? <clears throat> uh, this is baby steps. Still struggling, huh? Uh, this is okay, wait. it's... It's a... It's a work in progress, okay? It's... <laughs> I don't like no, to rush. I, I, we don't like to rush things, you know. Don't like to rush things. Listen, okay. I, I really. I mean, he did call me his Bonnie. <laughs> I want to call this fucker so bad. Oh, I, 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 you know Bruh. what? By all means, do it. I just want him. Like, I just want to be like. Listen, man. I don't think you guys have had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I no, we haven't. And honestly, I just don't like him. But like, I think you should. I honestly, I think you should tell him to his face. <sighs> just be like straight up. I don't fucking like you. I just want I just you to fucking to know that. I just to apologize to Kitty, but you're right. If he doesn't mean it, then there's no point. You're right. If he doesn't mean it, then there's no point. But like, I want him to apologize to her so bad. Yeah. But. You're right. If he doesn't care, if he doesn't mean it, then there's no point. Which makes me uh, sick. You want me... You want me to drop you... Back to the house? <laughs> or do you wanna... Uh... Yeah, house is fine. Okay. 